I think it cut off. All right, so we, we need to continue. All right, and we're going, remember where you were? Yeah. And barriers. Oh my God. So many barriers. I don't okay, right. So, right, so this is Ray. Right. Right. Ray, interview, take three. Tell me about some of the barriers to healthcare that you experienced working with trans women? Trans women, to begin with, is a very um, vulnerable population. I mean, I can start with just having, walking through a, a, health, a health center's door and leave with the barriers there, but the barriers really start at first with the person. So, you know, being gay is one thing, but identifying as a trans woman is a bit of a challenge for individuals, especially in such a hostile society. So you have the idea already in their head, they have the idea in their heads already that they are not welcome in spaces. There's a challenge just to take a taxi or walk to the nearest health center. They have to worry about being stoned or people throw bottles at them. Is that thing making noise and muttering us? Yes, it is. So, what does that sound like? Somebody's sawing something. Right, there's the next door neighbor. I think they, they I don't know what were they doing.